Before we get in this video, this is not about what stove is better for browning meat or sauteing pizza rolls, nor is this about political agendas or greedy companies. This is about the safety and environmental impact of how you and I cook our food. In other words, behave in the comment section. Thanks. As a millennial, I have big dreams of owning my own home, and in that home, I have even bigger dreams for my kitchen. As a foodie and someone who loves to cook, I've been dreaming of the day I can finally leave behind those crappy apartment electric stoves and upgrade to cooking on gas like a true iron chef. Picture it, all of my Food Network fantasies finally coming to life. But there's a problem. Apparently, gas stoves are trash. On January 10th, 2023, Governor Kathy Hochul of New York expressed support for an idea that might have rubbed people the wrong way. In her address, she supported a ban on fossil fuel heating for residential and commercial buildings beginning in 2030 and 2035, respectively. This would mean that if this ban were implemented and your home's gas furnace went out in 2030, you would need to replace it with either an electric furnace or some other type of heating that does not directly use fossil fuels. She further went on to express support for a similar ban on gas stoves. And because everyone wants to be upset about everything nowadays, the backlash was fierce. Will the United States of America ban gas stove? I prefer to cook on gas myself, so until I'm forced to go to electric, I'll stick with gas. That this is really a backdoor way to go after natural gas. We're here with a concerned citizen who's worried about the recent gas stove controversy. I mean, it's ridiculous that the government is trying to come here and take our gas stoves. I mean, can you even imagine it? The government is overstepping once again, just like when they allow people to put pineapple on pizza, for instance. Obviously, the government is overstepping, so hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your gas stove, because they're coming out here and taking everybody's appliances. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, let's clarify a few things. To be clear, no one is coming to rip out your gas stove or furnace or any other appliances in your house and force you to buy electric. At least, not yet. That's not what's being said here. What the bands are supporting is that if your appliance were to fail and you needed to buy a new one, you would have to buy electric. But why? How are gas stoves bad all of a sudden? A recent study in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health claims that gas stoves contribute to 12.7% of childhood asthma in the US and can be prevented by removing these stoves. And that's because high heat sources release nitrogen oxides, which are known to cause or worsen respiratory issues like asthma. Now, with all statistics, it's important to understand where they come from. While the study uses agreed upon estimates for its calculations, it does have some issues. For instance, it doesn't account for risk factors like tobacco smoke or pets. Another issue is that this study and others like it can be easily misunderstood. Studies like this determine correlation, not causation. What does that mean? It means that even though two things might coincide with one another, it does not prove that one causes the other. But that's not to say gas stoves aren't problematic. Outside of the inherent fire risk due to an open flame, gas stoves do release toxic compounds into your home. Remember, there's no such thing as a smokeless flame. Burning is a chemical reaction, which always has a product, whether you see it or not. When it comes to natural gas, which is mostly methane, those products are unburned methane, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and formaldehyde, to name a few. In particular, nitrogen dioxide has become public enemy number one for studies like the one I mentioned before. That's because nitrogen dioxide has been linked to respiratory problems such as coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath. It can also worsen existing respiratory conditions such as asthma. Unfortunately, your gas stove is the main source of this harmful gas in your home, though it doesn't produce this directly. Nitrogen oxides are made when nitrogen and oxygen react with one another in a high heat environment. Both nitrogen and oxygen make up the biggest percentages of the air you breathe, but typically don't react with one another. That is until you add a high enough energy source like a flame from a gas stove. That's why opponents of gas usage are using this as leverage to convince you and I to go electric. However, the health risk doesn't just stop because the gas stove is off. Gas stoves also leak, like a lot. Even when the stove is off, it's leaking methane and carbon monoxide into your home's air. But the bad news is the leaks happen even before the gas reaches your stove. The piping for natural gas is known for leaking throughout the piping network, which is a problem for our environment. From the gas well to your home, natural gas pipes leak at almost every stage, meaning methane and other chemicals leak into our environment. 
and that's a problem since methane is a potent greenhouse gas, being 25 times worse than carbon dioxide for our atmosphere, which is obviously a bad thing for our fight against climate change. In fact, one study believes these leaks are equivalent to adding 500,000 more cars to our roads each year. So what are you supposed to do? Just throw away your gas stove? Well, not exactly. While your gas stove does emit compounds even when it's off, the reality is these levels aren't high enough to cause major concern for your family, assuming you have had your gas stove checked by a heating engineer. It's their job to inspect all your gas appliances and ensure they're performing properly and are leak free. Other thing you can do is right above your head. When using a gas stove, you should be using a range hood. Even though it may be annoying because those things aren't known for being quiet. Don't worry, bro. It do this every day. Oh my God! They exist to vent all the harmful compounds outside, especially if you have a small and tight kitchen. However, not all hoods are created equal. It's important to check that your hood actually vents outside since they aren't required to by US federal law. If you have a microwave hood, you should use it too, since they can be vented outside as well, or at least have a filter to reduce the number of contaminants. If you had no idea that microwaves have vent filters, especially ones you're supposed to change every six months, welcome to the club. But what if you're in a market for a new stove? Should you buy an electric or induction stove instead? Well, from a cost standpoint, electric or gas stoves are the most affordable options. Though induction cooktops can perform almost as well as gas stoves, they are expensive and require special cookware. While it would be easy for me to say you should definitely buy an electric cooktop instead of a gas stove, they still do have their benefits. Gas stoves cook food faster than electric stoves, they allow you to roast food over an open flame, and most importantly, they are separate from our electrical grid, which means if the electricity goes out, you still have a way of cooking food. Depending on how stable your electrical grid is, that could be a big benefit that outweighs the risk of emissions. Now, maybe you should just buy a camper stove as a backup, but that's your prerogative. The reality is gas stoves do have their problems, but many of them can be fixed with proper operation and maintenance. But is that something the average person will maintain? For us in the States, switching to electric or induction might make more sense. But for many people around the world, switching to electric may not be a realistic option. But whether you throw your gas stove out right now or defend it to the death, one thing is clear. Gas stoves are likely on their way out, just like you are on your way out to watch this video right over here. I'm Lumi, thanks for watching, and I'll see you over there. What was I gonna say? Crap. Uh -huh. I'm here with a disturbed citizen. We're here with a concerned citizen. Hide your wife, hide your gas stoves. Stop running above me. <laughs> Cause they coming out here and stepping on everybody's toes.